Here we are back with the Korean scroll compressor. And I took it apart, we kind of looked at the things inside and tried to give a pretty good idea of what most of the stuff was in there. But, because I have it, it failed. So why did it fail? Well, I think I have an idea, and it's kind of interesting. Okay, here I pulled the top off. The, this is a solid portion up here of the scroll. And the bottom rotating or oscillating portion of the scroll is right here. Now, what I'm wanting to show you, and if you look at some of my other videos, you could see it. But I'm going to get close on this, and maybe we can see what's going on. Okay, this is what I'm looking at right here. It's a rough spot on the oscillating portion of the scroll. Now, I'm going to show you another part. Okay. Now, what I'm looking at is right here. Now, that appears to be the same type of mark that's on the... Uh, oscillating spiral. Now this is solidly mounted. This is, uh, get back a little bit so you can see a little better. This thing is actually mounted to the side of the uh, the compressor can. So that's solid and the other part is oscillating. So they have to move together. This is a bearing surface between the two. Well, uh, there's, uh, there's something that happens with uh, electric motors. I don't know that I've ever seen it in a compressor. And I, this is all speculation because I'm just guessing what this is. Uh, but what I, we have a lot of problems with, especially, not exclusively, but especially with uh, freak drives, is there is an inducted current developed in the rotor. Now this is actually the rotor of the motor because this is a rotating part and the bearing, you can see the bearing down there. Uh, between the rotor and the body of the, uh, the frame of the motor, and that would be this part here, there is a potential built up. And sometimes it damages bearings. Well, in this case, it didn't damage the bearing. And, of course, bearings in uh, hermetic compressors are all bushings. They don't use ball bearings in these things. Uh, I've seen it in ball bearings in open motors where that potential has gone from the rotor to the frame of the motor and it's damaged the bearings. It's arced and, and damaged the bearings. In this case, it did not do that, but it did do this. And that's what locked that compressor up. I think it welded it. Now, it wasn't a tight weld because it broke loose when I tore it apart, but it was enough to stop this compressor. So I think that's what happened. The potential built up in the rotor actually discharged through to the frame uh, on that bearing surface and stop this. Now why exactly all this happens, there are explanations for it. I'm not sure I really know what all of them are, but this looks to me like that, um, that type of failure. So why does it happen? How can it be prevented? On a hermetic compressor, I have no idea. On open motors, they can actually either use uh, uh, ceramic ball bearings, and that eliminates it, or there's a brush that they can use that will discharge it. But anyway, that's what I think that is. If anybody else has any ideas, let me know and we'll discuss it.